Hi there! Welcome to another episode of Ink, Lead, Paper, and Thread. In today's video, I am excited to um, open up, kind of unbox, so to speak, um, this um, kit that is a um, it's a card making kit, basically like a greeting greeting card, um, and it's diamond painting. So it's really cool because you get to diamond paint um, the covers or the you know the fronts of of cards. This kit was uh, given to me by a friend of mine as a gift, and uh, she she bought it from Amazon. So. Um, yeah, I, uh, I'll go find the link to, or I'll go find, you know, the shop where she, the Amazon shop where she bought this, and I can put a link to that, uh, down below. So let's delve into opening this up. I'm excited. When you open this up, you get... The uh, sort of typical, uh, you know, pen and baggies and um, drill bow and the wax that you get in a lot of these different types of kits. Um, let's open this up just because um, for people who may not be familiar with um, diamond painting, I'm going to show you, I'll just show you what you get in these types of kits. So this is the pen that you can use. Um, to, that you grab the little diamonds with, um, the little drills. Um, you grab them with the pen. And um, it usually, these kits usually come with like a little, this little piece of wax. Um, and then you, you know, dip the pen into the wax and then you can pour the drills into this boat and then you can grab, they stick to the pen and you can grab them and affix them to the surface of the diamond painting. So that's what these are for in case anybody's not familiar with diamond painting. Um, and yeah, and then it comes with some extra baggies that you can use if you want to store your extra diamonds or um, drills in the baggies. So put that aside for now. And then this kit comes with, ooh, look at all this. I'm excited to do these. Um, okay, so we'll get to all these in just a minute. These are all the drills, the little gems. And it comes with envelopes. And the main event, look at this. You get all these cards you get to work on. So cool. Um, so you get one, two, three, four, five, ooh, that's cute, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ooh, you get twelve greeting cards to work on. This is going to keep me busy. I like this. This is, this is a great gift <laughs> for her to give to me. Um, very cool. Um, I think the reason why maybe she gave this, part of the reason she knows I like diamond painting, but also because I'm always saying that um, I have nothing to do with my completed um, diamond painting canvases. And, um, you know, it's like, because I don't really hang them up or anything. Um, and so they kind of just sit in a drawer. And, um, you know, I think she maybe thought this was a good idea and it is totally a good idea. I think she, she thought I'd like these because I get to, it's kind of like a, a constructive use of your diamond painting time, you know, like, so you complete this and then you get to give it to somebody and you get to like, you're putting in the effort for that person, you know? So I think this is a great idea. Very, very cool. And I'll go through all of these. Um, actually, let me just go ahead and do that right now. I'll go through all of them individually. And I just want to say a quick thing about these envelopes. Um, so it looks like it comes with 12 envelopes. I mean, I haven't counted them, but I'm guessing this is 12 to match up with this. Um, and these are pretty nice. I mean, they're not like, you know, they're not like Hallmark or paper, you know, um, whatever that other brand is. Like they're not like Hallmark style envelopes, but I don't really think they need to be. They are definitely nice. It's a nice thick paper. So that's cool. 
kind of like an off-white color. They're nice. It's like a grayish color. So very cool there. Um, and then, yeah, let's just go through each one of these and take a look at what we have here. So this kit, this is a, this looks like a, just like a sort of thinking of you type of card. And so like the idea would be that you fold it like this, you fold all of these in half. This is the front. All right. So you've got this film, but you know, as in a typical diamond painting, you have the, the film over the sticky parts and you would peel the film back to access the stickiness. This is pretty sticky. I think I would have confidence that the drills would stick to this and lot, you know, for you to give it to somebody else as a gift. So that's good. Cause you know, it would be kind of embarrassing if you gave this to somebody and then like the, all the drills fell off, like within 10 minutes of them opening it, that'd be embarrassing. So yeah, that felt pretty sticky. Yeah. Pretty cool. Okay. Um, so yeah, you would have it like that. And this has some pretty details in it. And I like how it kind of looks 3D, like like the butterfly is popping off, even though it's not. This is all flat, but it kind of looks, it looks 3D, that's neat. So here's, here's some close-up details. Kind of neat, very pretty. I think this, this is gonna look really cool. Um, yeah, I like that. Open it up and you get this beautiful watercolor inside and this, these lines for writing. So I like that. Very cool. Very nice. And the back, it says best of wishes to you. With this nice floral design. So yeah, I would, I would definitely make this for someone if I wanted to just send them kind of like a thinking of you card. So that's pretty. Um, this is nice. This is a thank you card. You fold it over and you've got this heart, beautiful heart on the front. Inside you have, it says thank you on the left side. On the right side, you've got these lines for writing. I like this little um, kind of, it looks like almost like a stamp or something, you know, like a rubber stamp. It's not, obviously it's just printed on there, but that's really neat. Pretty colors. Um, and then the back is neat. It says, thank you. Cool colors. This, these are like much brighter, vivid versions of this inside. And this sort of kind of reminds me of some neat like 70s um, design. So I like this. I like this thank you card a lot. And I will definitely be using this to um, write, you know, I'll make it. When I have some, when someone, when I want to thank somebody, I'll make it and I'll go ahead and give it to them. Um, okay, this one, let's see here. I like this pink. And you have it this way. So, okay, this is interesting. It says, just call me baby. Um, distance isn't an issue because in the end, I have you. Okay, you know, that's... That's cute. I don't know who I would use this particular card for. I guess maybe my mom actually. You know what, I can give this to my mom. And my mom does live very far away. Um, so distance isn't an issue because in the end I do have her. So actually I was kind of reading this as like a romantic card, the connotation, but you know what? I could give this to my mama and she does call me baby. So <laughs> I like it. Um, Okay, but then here in the inside, it says you are my son, which maybe is more of like a romantic message, but it could also be for my mom still. Um, and that, and look how nice that is. It's it's pretty. I mean, you have this kind of like floral, it almost looks like a toile type of thing going on back there. I like that. And, and then over here on the side, you have the same thing. Nice, pretty pattern, floral pattern. And then you have the um, lines to write on it. So pretty cool. And the back says, best wishes, with this little vase. All in all, um, yeah, I, I think this could be cool for my mom. And if you have a romantic partner that you'd send this to, if, if they're like long distance, I'm, I think that could work. 
For this next card, we have another thank you card. So it's gonna look like this when you fold it over. Very pretty shades of blue. Um, yeah, I like this one. You got some neat detail back here with the polka dots and the stripes. Um, I like the colors here. And then over here, so you've got thank you on the front. And I like how it, I like how you're going to be doing it with the, the drills there. And then thank you on the inside. And then on here you've got the blue that sort of matches the outside blue with some lines and some nice little petals on the outside. Uh, it's a nice design. I like the design in here too. Little sort of wreath. And then the back, you've got another little wreath that says, thank you. This excites me. We have a happy birthday card. I like it. So you would fold it over like this. You have all these little confetti pieces here. This will be fun to put on. This is this will be nice and um, time consuming, which I, I like because then you can just like watch a movie or listen to a podcast as you do these or, or watch, you know, YouTube videos. So I'm going to have fun putting these on. And I just think this looks so festive. Um, let me touch again here and see how sticky it is. Yeah, that's really sticky. OK, good, good. Um, this is really cute. I love the little cupcake. And then I bet you that's going to be a cherry on top, that number 20. So, okay. Then you open it. Oh, this is darling. This is darling. Look at the watercolor. Isn't it cute? Got little butterflies, party hat. This is so cute. I love that. Then you get the pretty floral here that kind of matches the watercolor. Um... Yeah, I, this is so cute. I already know who I'm going to give this to for their birthday. <laughs> and then look at the back. It says, happy birthday. Wish you all the best. Pretty. So yeah, I think that's cute. Okay, got another happy birthday card. So this is how it would look. And oh, look at this. You get you get to put drills on the candles in the actual flames themselves, balloons, little cute banners, other little balloons. This is, I love this. This is so cute. Um, and then here in the inside, you get this kind of whimsical little pattern with sort of feathers around and then the nice happy birthday in the script looking font. And this is pretty plain, pretty basic, just white with some, a couple lines. That's fine. Um, and then the back, which says happy birthday. Little banner. Yeah, so that's nice. I'm looking forward to doing that one. Looking forward to doing all of them, actually. Um, sweet, sweet. Another birthday one. Oh, yeah. Okay. Happy birthday, it says, as you can see. Um, then the inside. Okay, so this is a little different. Over here um, you ha is where you can write the message on this one because you got the blank space here. Happy birthday on the bottom. You do have this big space, but unless you have some kind of like a, a milk pen or some milky pen or whatever those are called, like the chalky pen, I don't think you'd really be able to write here. Although I guess you could always get like a notepad and just tape your message there. So that'd be kind of neat. Oh, this might be one of my favorites. Oh my gosh, I love this. Oh, look at this, okay. Honestly, this probably is my favorite one yet. Look at this, okay. How can you beat this? Rabbit, a blue rabbit. Um, and you know, I have a cross stitch project that I'm working on that has, that I'm, I'm making little blue rabbits on. Um, because I love blue rabbits and there's a whole thing about that. So yeah, this is, oh my gosh, this is cool. You got the little, um, you know, wreath bits with the flowers. Oh, this, oh, the mushroom. I think this is, yeah, this is going to be my favorite. Oh, it's darling though. 
look at this. You open it up and you have the little sparrow. Um, I think it's a sparrow. Maybe it's a robin. But and you have the sort of white um, background parts. Nice. And then over here you have some ornaments. Okay. All right. That, that Those could just be like non... Those don't have to be holiday ornaments. Those could just be any any day ornaments, I suppose. With a nice space here to write a message. And then the back is this lovely little swan with a crown. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's look at the front one more time because it's just so special. That's a cute rabbit. Yeah, you can't beat this card. I think this is my favorite. I know I've said that like 50 times, but it's really cute. Okay. Thank you. We have, okay, so it looks like, yeah, I think there's two of these. Yeah, there are two of these ones. So we already did this one. These two are the same. So, okay, you have two of those in this kit. Um, ooh, another birthday one. Let's get organized here. Okay, birthday. So gonna look like that. This cake's adorable. Wouldn't you want to have a birthday cake like that? I totally would. Pink frosting, chocolate. Oh yeah. Neat little um, confetti up here and then you can see that in the in the letters themselves you get to put some drills down. So that'll be fun. I like this turquoise background too. And I like how the frosting is like dripping. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> okay, so this is interesting. Um, you have it saying, Happy birthday, dear my friend. That's okay, that's all right. I mean, and then you have like two champagne glasses, which honestly, this reminds me a little bit of kind of like a wedding type of card because of the champagne glasses, but I don't think it necessarily has to be just an interesting representation because there's like little, I don't know if you can see it, but in the champagne glasses, there are little hearts. So that just re reminds me a little bit of like an anniversary type of card or a wedding card, but that's okay. I think if you gave this to a, a close friend um, or a really close family member, like your sister or something, that would that would not be misconstrued. Um, it's kind of interesting how it says, dear my friend. It almost seems like that's not like a common phrase that anybody would use. It's usually my dear friend, but I think that's not a big deal. And over here on this side, this looks kind of like a wedding cake too, because you have the two swans. Um, and then this like three tiered cake, but this is actually perfect for a friend of mine because we have this sort of like inside joke about swans. Um, and she is my dear friend, so I actually think I'm going to give this to her for her birthday. And I would really enjoy making this for her because I think, um, yeah, I think she'd appreciate it and I like the idea that I, I'll put in this time specifically for her. So, yeah, I think this is cool. And at the back... Okay, so now that's interesting too because it says, Happy Birthday America on it um i guess maybe if your friend was born around independence day or something um this would be a good card for them and funnily enough my friend who she and i have this joke about this like not joke but a special thing about swans her birthday is in july so actually kind of close to independence day so yeah i'm totally excited to make this for her in fact i think i'll make this one first so I'll set this aside to do that later. And another, I'll do another video where I make that one. Okay, a thank you card. Very cool. Rainbowy, look how rainbowy this is. You have these really neat splotches of color here. It's kind of supposed to look like some paint, I think, right here. And look at all these um, kind of luscious shades right of, uh, you know, purple and pink kind of like a hot pink you got some green in there that's nice this is gonna look great when it's done so yeah you got thank you there 
And then when you open it up, it, okay, well, mm, all right, well, it says, <laughs> thank you for my every day. No, every day. There's no why. So it just says, thank you for my every day. Um, I'm honestly tempted to think that this right here is a typo. Because there's, there's no such thing as everyday, and there's also no such thing as the word faux. So, yeah. I'm not sure. I don't... I don't know who I would give this to, because they might think, like, why are there typos in the card? And then they might think that I, like, tried to cheap out or something. <laughs> like, you know, like, when you're expressing gratitude to someone, you don't want to give them a card that looks like you cheaped out. I don't know about this. I might have to... The thing is, the front cover is so pretty, but this part is mm, interesting. So I think I might cover this with like some big sticker or something. That might be the solution. Um, and then over here on this side, you've got the pretty kind of like rubber stamp looking type of image, which is nice. Ah, it's a shame about this typo though. Ah, darn it. Okay, and in the back it says thank you with some nice colors and I like I especially like the little berry details. So yeah, there's that one. Here's the last one, also a thank you card. So it looks like there's a lot of thank you cards in this particular kit, which is great because I love writing thank you notes and um, each person can get a special touch when you make this just for them. So I think that's nice. It really, if you're really grateful and you want to write them a thank you note and you want to kind of show your gratitude, it, it's cool that you spent the time to make this for them. So I know I certainly would appreciate getting something like this um, if someone were thanking me because I would think like, hey, they put the time in. And so I think that's nice. Anyway, we have best wishes here. And that'll be nice to, that'll be fun to input the little drills on the writing. Got the pretty flowers in the background. I like the shade of pink. It's almost like a salmon-y, a pink, peachy pink. Um, and over here we have thank you. No typos. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Same sort of shade of pink here on the inside with these lines on the back. Yep, thank you. So, cool. I think, um, all in all, all in all, the the designs on these are great. They are things that I would uh, definitely want to give to people. All right, and now let's take a look at the drills. Woohoo! Oh, I'm excited for these. There's a lot of them. Look at the look at all these. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Look at this. So I do not believe that these are DMC colors. Um they don't seem like the codes for the DMC codes. Um so you, okay, you've got this neat gold and peach. Oh, 24. Okay, so this is actually, I just happen to have this one on top. These ones here are going to go on this butterfly. Cool. Um, then you've got these little pink pearly ones and these rubies with the flat back, uh, you know, kind of silver on the back. So many of them, my goodness, look at this. Oh wow, this is huge, huge, huge. Okay, let's start from this side. I love this. All right, so you have some um, cherry reds. These kind of remind me of like, um, 
kind of like dirty snowflakes, but in a pretty way. So I'm going to call that dirty snowflake. <laughs> um, very pretty uh, teardrop, or not teardrop, but like almond, whatever this is called, almond shape, kind of beige. Um, some delicious cherry, or not even cherry, this is more like a strawberry color. And then here we've got this white that's not, um, not iridescent. But next to it, you have the iridescent white. Then you have this um, sort of taupe color. Licorice, yum. Some grape. That's pretty. I like the, that shade of purple. Ooh, that's nice. Look at that green. That's cool. Kind of like asparagus green. And you got a darker green, which reminds me more of like a holiday green. Oh, look at that shade of blue. I love this shade of blue. It's like a mermaid blue. Here you have like an ocean blue. This this shade of blue reminds me of um the ocean drink at Sonic. Have you ever had that? It's like it's like a really delicious um uh, like soda drink and it's blue and this kind of reminds me of that if you ever go to Sonic like the drive-in burger place yeah this is tasty um so I'm gonna call this Sonic Ocean Blue and then you have this beautiful um kind of like light caramel color tangerine yum oh okay coral that's probably I bet you this goes on that coral card let me see, number five. Um, actually, no, it doesn't. Interesting, all right, but that's pretty. Oh, actually, this one has a lot of number fives on it. Um, so yeah, coral, bubblegum pink. Very cute little tiny, tiny um, raspberry colored teardrops. I like those. These are exquisite, look at that more tiny teardrops this is like a cream soda color it reminds me of like a boston cream soda and then over here we have some pretty um and then very very sparkly silvers all right so that's it for the drills and yeah i'm, pr I'm pretty excited i know i've said that so many times in this video but i am i really am excited to make these cards um and more importantly to give them to people and um, i yeah i can already think of several different people i want to give these to and i look forward to putting the time in to make them for the for the um recipients so if you like videos like this um please do feel free to uh you know click the like button i would love it if you subscribed because then we can kind of share our um, discussions about this, you know, diamond painting and other stuff together. And then, um, feel free to leave a comment too, please, if you want to. And, um, I'm actually going to be making this one first. So one of my next videos will be, um, putting together this happy birthday card for my friend for her birthday. So that's all for today, everybody. Um, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it and take care. Bye.